Hi guys, Katie here. Um, I am at home today because I have a sinus infection. So I thought I'd film a video just because I'm bored and I need to wake up because I've been literally sleeping all day because sinus medicine knocks me off my butt. So I thought I would go over this Juvia Place palette. I used it last weekend in Vegas and it was really pretty. The only thing is I did notice like the darker colors kind of smudged all over the place, but I think it's because I forgot an eye primer and I just used my Born This Way concealer as eye primer, which I've done before, but I guess it did not lay correctly with this eyeshadow. So I am going to use the Morphe eye primer and try to give this another shot to see if the colors will actually stay on better. So I'm going to go into it and when I, before I get started, when I went to Vegas, I used this color and these two as the top. So I'm also wondering if it was just too much. So we'll see. So I'm going to go in with this one in the very corner and just go over my eyelids to get it started. Um, and then I think think I will go in with Nana, which is like this brown color, and just go up in my crease with it, just to deepen up my eyes a tad bit. I still really love Juvia's Place, by the way. It's one of the better eyeshadow brands out there. Yeah, that's really pretty. For a brown. And it doesn't look like it's, like, super dark. So it doesn't make my fair skin look weird. It's kind of like a caramely orange color, which complements... A skin and that's what I like about Juvia's Place is that it complements every skin tone and it works with every skin tone beautifully. If you have lighter skin like me or even a deeper skin it just gives that pop of color that everybody wants. And then I think I'm gonna go in with this one today this purpley it almost looks black but in person it's like a purpley blue which is just turning out to look like purple which is okay still very very pretty and like i said before juvia's place is very very and expensive, so if you're looking for a good brand with good quality, Juvia's Place is the way to go. You could get it at Juvia's Place on the website, or you could get it on Ulta. By the way, I am not sponsored. I just really love this brand. I buy it, all my makeup on my own, with my own money. Okay, and then I think... I'm gonna do next. So I'm gonna go in with this lighter purple, but I'm gonna put a little bit of the Pretty Vulgar Concealer and just put it like right smack dab in the middle of my eyelid. And then I'm going to go in with another flat brush and get the shiny purple and just press it on the middle. And I do have hooded eyes, so stuff is going to travel, but it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. You can always touch it up later. Yep, 
I mean, it's very pretty. It's a very simple. You could do many looks with this palette. And then what I'm going to do, of course, I'm not going to use my expensive um, primers because I am just at home today relaxing because I'm under the weather. So I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Putty, my e.l.f. Hydrating, which is good because my skin has been so dry because it's so cold and windy out here in the desert. Whoops. That my skin is literally just soaking up everything I put on it. I mean, this works too for the $6 primer. So if you're looking for a good primer, this e.l.f. primer is a way to go. If you're looking for something that's affordable, I would definitely go with e.l.f.'s hydrating primer or any of their other primers. And then of course, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. putty. This is also another good inexpensive primer if you're looking for a good primer. It, supposed to be like my tart one but the textures are different but it kind of works the same I think the tart one works a little bit better but that's because it's a higher quality but if you're looking for an inexpensive one this is definitely the way to go mm, I'm gonna be also going in with the e.l.f. Cameo today. This is another good product that is at the drugstore if you're looking for a good concealer on a budget. I believe this is only $6. And it works very well. The only thing is, I noticed if you don't like set it right away, it creases really, really bad. So you kind of have to make sure you spread it really well and then just press it in and try to make sure it doesn't set too much. And then I am going to go in with the Dewy Do You Too Faced Foundation. I said I got this at um, TJ Maxx in my last video, but I actually got this at Marshalls. I have no idea why I said TJ Maxx when there's a TJ Maxx nowhere near me. And I'm just using a little bit. I'm going to go in with a brush. And this foundation does smell have a faint watermelon smell but it smells it doesn't smell horrible so and it goes away so if you're smell sensitive it shouldn't bother you because my friend Brittany also has this and it she suffers from really bad migraines and certain smells set it off but she's never had a problem using this foundation because the smell goes away after a little bit. Let's see, it's already creasing. Ugh. It's not really creasing yet though, so that's good. Um, I am gonna go in with my Jeffree Star's um, powder. Where is my concealer? There it is. Like I said, I'm sorry if my voice sounds horrible. I am under the weather, but I'm just at home being bored. So I thought I'd film this and just have some fun. Because why not? Because filming videos is a way that I like to relax. And playing with makeup. Hi, Peanut, by the way. Um, my sister-in-law texted pictures to our family group that my niece is copying 
my makeup and she put blue eyeshadow all over her eyelids. It is so cute. I love that little miss. Um, let's see, what am I looking for? Oh, I'm going to go in with the Pretty Vulgar. Now, I did get this at Marshall's as well. And it is a little chips, but you can't beat $7 for a highlighter from Pretty Vulgar. And I'm going in with my Lexi Sephora brush, the highlighter, and I'm just putting it right here. I mean, it's very pretty. You can't really tell on this camera for some reason, but when I look in my big mirror, you can see the reflection really, really well. So it is very, very pretty. It kind of almost has like a pinky tone to it. Or am I crazy? I don't know. <laughs> and then, of course, I'm going to go in with my Wander Beauty from my BoxyCharm last month in Berlin. I really like this blush. It's a very subtle blush. And I'm going to go in with my It Cosmetic. Ick, it Cosmetic brush. That is way too much, but I'll spread it out a little bit. Um, then of course I'm going to go in with my eyebrow product, the Maybelline. And then I'm just going to put a top lash layer because I don't feel like putting any on my bottom eyelashes today. And this is my Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. It's one of my favorite mascaras. And it's very inexpensive. It's like 10 bucks. And then of course, I am going to go in with my Morphing Setting Spray. And then where is... Oh. I'm going to go in with my Ambient Light Powder by Hourglass. And just kind of put it in... And for lips today, I'm just going to put on a simple gloss. Um, the Jeffree Star's lip glosses are really nice. But all his lip products are really, really nice and comfortable to wear. Well, I hope you like this video. Like, again, I'm sorry about my voice. There's nothing I could do about it. I don't feel 100% that I was bored and I wanted to do something to wake me up. So I decided to play with makeup. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell notification so when new videos are posted, you guys are um, notified. Have a great Thursday. Bye!